Yeah. Um, the UFC fight night. I was sad to see Cowboy lose again. I think. Mate. I think uh, I've proper got rose tinted glasses about Cowboy. Like I just. Of course. You know. La- lavender tinted. Yeah. Well. <laughs> there you go. I've got some hotel glasses that are rose tinted. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like seeing him lose. I when he ever whenever he fights, I just I want him. You know, I want him to yeah. win. But Morono was a. It was just a ball of energy and aggression. It was yeah. just a bad fight for him, wasn't it? It's mm. Morono's a good a good example of how deep the welterweight division is. Mm. I mean, he's not he's not ranked in the top fifteen, is he? No, he's, I don't he's, think so. Like, yeah, I don't think he's ever been ranked either. He, but he's one of those guys that's always been a he's always been a problem for his opponent, no matter who he's faced. And, and the other thing as well is because Cowboy's got you know such tenure within the UFC. Mm. Here we go. This. Yeah, yeah. I didn't what, forget Pre- it from yesterday. That was the conversation we had yesterday. <laughs> um, be- because you know because Cowboy's been around for a, such a long time, and there's so much footage of him, and you can see his consistencies. And it, everybody watches Cowboy fights when yeah. he's on. You know, you, you know how he wins and loses. Yeah. You know where his mental state's at, and you know if you're a fast starter and if you can jump on him, you can back him up. Yeah. Um, it's just yeah. Yeah, I've called a couple of Morono's fights, I think. He, he's oh yeah, I called his fight against Son Canan, who's a big mm. power puncher in that division. You know, Zach Otto was problems. Max Griffin as well is a good win, especially now he, you know, he's kind of turned a corner. Yeah, he's found some form, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean I don't, I don't know. I think Cowboy's going to lightweight. That's what he keeps saying. That's what he keeps saying. I, I, it, I don't know why though. This is the prop this is the thing. Is he is he mm. going to lightweight because he feels like he'd be more competitive there? Because ultimately he's not, he's not like big welterweight though, is he? He's not, but he he's also he also might be too old to be forcing himself down yeah, to lightweight. There's not a lot on him. There's not, not like he can drop a couple of kilos in no. body fat. And he's, I mean, according to his stats, he's six foot one. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I kind, I honestly feel like he should stay at welterweight, and there should be, there should be a bracket for these guys where they're mm. not swimming in the same pond anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, like yeah. Cowboy Matt Brown, Carlos Condit, unless you know. I mean, you could say like, if you put a three fight win streak together in the smaller in the smaller tank, then you can move back over into the big tank. Mm. You know, but yeah, but like hard sell to those boys though. Do you know course, what I mean? They don't, yeah, they're not but, thinking about it like but that. Then maybe not. I mean, you know, like these guys have all, have all got to be realistic with where they are. Mm. Like Diego was realistic with where he was at when he got put in there against Mickey Gall and and um, that's um, not a, that's and, not like, a sentence I ever thought. Hey, uh, what Diego was realistic. Well, I mean, no. I mean, I think there. Is, I think he can Maybe be he realistic. Is, yeah. I think the. I think there are unrealistic perceptions of his reality, perhaps. Mm. <laughs> yeah, true. But, but I think true. you know. I think he understands that he was coming to the end of his career, and that like Michelle Pereira was not a good matchup for no. Diego, and just not not ever. Like, no. it's just he's you know he's, he's he's at a stage in his career now where he wanted a retirement fight, and Cowboys get into that stage now. Well, like, I think he wants a win, and then he. he, he Knock on the head. He I just doesn't want to go out losing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If he gets a good win, he might be tempted to not yeah. risk another loss. You know. Mm. But then, like, if you think of that that division at welterweight, and and the reality is, if Tony Ferguson loses this weekend, he might be a good candidate for that. You know, move up to welterweight and get in that tank with Nick Diaz, uh, Robbie Lawler. Yeah. Um, I mean, who, who else? I mean, you could put Damian Maya in there. Yeah. You could put. There's a, there's a whole bunch division. of guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. guys that guys that are just not like. I mean, it, like if, it'd be if a if shame look, to screw them up and throw them away. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, you're not. Or at their use peak. them up. Or use them up. This yeah. is the other thing. Like Cowboy's getting kind of used up. Mm. Like he got he got he was used to to bump Till. He was used mm. to try and bump Leon. He's you know now now he was he was used to bump the card mm. because it lost Cowboy he Sanchez. Someone, yeah. Like at least keep one of them <clears> on the card. You know, they they like they know as as good as the fight between Marina Rodriguez and Michelle Waterson is, it's it's the the cards massive lim, massively limited by losing the main event. Needed a name, and they needed a cowboy on it, and <clears> the yeah, cowboy it did need a name. Yeah. 